In this lecture, we're going to learn about the return transfer for outbound delivery. The topics we're going to learn about the definition of return transfer for outbound delivery and customizing setting for the return transfer. Let us start with a business example. Sometimes a customer cancels an order. We're talk, talking about the sales order here. So sometimes a customer cancels an, an order at the last minute or postpone the delivery. Post goods issue is completed at the warehouse. You now need to return the goods to the same storage bin or to a different storage bin. As a SAP team member, you have been asked to look at the availability of this function. So return transfer for outbound delivery. So some theory regarding this first. So regardless of whether you wish to return all or some of the picked material to storage, you have the below option. So as we have just seen this business example that first we have created a sales order. Then from the sales order, we created the outbound delivery. From the outbound delivery, we then created the transfer order. Then transfer order, we confirmed the transfer order. And then finally, we clicked on the post goods issue. But, but at the same time, the customer just called up and they said, OK, now we, we, we want to cancel the order. Or they say we want to postpone the delivery. Now we need to return the same stock to the storage bin. So here we have two options when we want to return it after completing the PGI. So first is to return transfer to the same picking bin. That means this function will only work if the if in customizing the storage type for stock removal allows addition to stock. Now return transfer to the same picking bin. That means from you want to to return the stock to the same bin from where it was picked. So you want to use the same bin and return to the same bin from it was picked. But if you want to use this option, then you need to make sure that in customizing for the warehouse, uh, for the storage type, you have allowed the addition to stock functionality checkbox. <laughs> then only you can return it to the same picking bin or the storage type bin was emptied as a result of the last bin. So if the if this function is not active, addition to stock, then other if it will only work if the storage bin was emptied and then system can put it back on the same bin. Option number two for return is to put away in another, another storage bin, maybe in a different storage type as well. You cannot put the material in another storage bin using either, you, you can put, sorry, not cannot, you can put away the material in another storage bin uh, using either foreground or background. System will search for suitable bin as per the strategy mentioned in the customizing. So we'll see this one in a, in a practical way. So what we need to do is to, so as I said, we, we got first, um, uh, we'll create a sales order here quickly. So first we'll create a sales order and then we'll complete up to the um, PGI, post goods issue process. So let me do this quickly. So let me put quantity say five in my plant was YWMS. And then click on deliver. And on this screen you can let me save it first, then we can come back again. And if I open this one, if, before we go ahead, if you see the status of this uh, order item, it's saying A, not yet picked, deadline transfer order required, PGI not yet started. So let me go ahead and I'll create, go to create function create to subsequent function create to say yes now we'll create a to press enter there's a warning two step picking relevance but just go ahead because we have activated the two step picking for this one and 
click on the foreground press enter and save it so to is created and now we quickly confirm the to then only we can post goods issue so in lt12 you can save and confirm and now we'll mm, open the vl02n again press enter <coughs> and here click on pgi now as pgi means the goods left the company phys physically or they're ready to go on to that truck or they were uploading on the truck so if i press pgi immediately the customer called us and said they want to cancel this order for example or xyz reason they want to postpone the delivery so now what we can do so first step is we need to do is to cancel the pga so first step will do cancel pga then only we can start all this process that we have mentioned here in the assignment i've given you the same thing <laughs> then only we can return the picked quantity to, to the storage bin so here first we need to cancel the uh, PGI post goods issue. So to cancel is the transaction is VL09. Use VL09 and enter your shipping point is thousand. We use and that's the outbound delivery. It will remember automatically uh, the last delivery number. And you can see this is reverse goods movement. So if you execute this and then that's the delivery, you can select this one and click on the reverse and execute. So it will say reverse goods movement. I'll say yes. So this will reverse the last step that means goods movement so after reversing saying there's no problem with the lot goods issue is completed and the goods was uh, goods issue was cancelled so now if i come back to vl 2 and again you can notice that post goods issue is now active again because we have reversed it now we can again do the post code issue one thing i forgot to show you once we have completed the pgi that this a status was it was c before because we have completed the goods issue it will become c but after reversing it will become a but others are c you can say for transfer order c and picking is c so picking is done so if i go back now we have uh cancel the pgi now the this step will start where you need to return the picked quantity to the bin so lt 0 g is the transaction or you can use this menu path as well so if i go back if you want to use a menu path outbound process picking cancel transfer order this one lt 0 g so what what used to happen was in the old version of sap there was no this option was not available lt 0 g to return it so the only method was to create another to to reverse this one or so here or you can cancel this to so there are a lot of different steps you need to go through but this is a new thing with the latest version of sap so you can go to lt 0 g if i execute it enter a warehouse number and delivery number it will automatically remember and click on execute button so once you execute it by default here it will show you the, the total quantity that you need to reverse and then you can select this one and here you have two option again here you can change the quantity as well if you want you can change the quantity from five to four as well or three as well for any reason it's a different quantity for example now you have two options either you can click on this button return to stock that means it will try to put this back to the original bin where it came from or if again that depends it will only this will happen only if these circumstances will meet the condition that means either the customizing will allow you the additional stock or the stock or the uh, bin was completely empty so before that if you want to see the bin stock i don't think the bin is active and i'm not sure about the customizing option for this one but we'll have a look so bin got it's not empty it got 75 here if i open this not sorry not this one is that's a total stock uh there um 
that's a bin yeah bin got total 75 stocks so bin is not empty anyway anyway so let me select this one and click on return to stock let's see what happens you can see it's showing you green that means it did allow you if you click on the log here it's showing you that this is a material source data what is the source where it's coming from from 916 and destination is go to destination tab and it's put, it's, it, it was put into this pin 010306 same bin so if I go back it should add up the quantity if I refresh so you can see it's showing you 13 here this quantity is changed now okay so that's how you can put it back to the where it came from so that's the WM stuff link to your return transfer so basically it's all about the just the one transaction that we're using here um, LT0G that you can use to reverse the stock after PJ so you can check the you can check the status again for delivery item if you want so that's all about this video and thank you again to watch this.